Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're gonna to be checking out what does $500 worth of beer look like? So, like I said, we're gonna be checking out what $500 worth of beer looks like. But first, remember to hit like and subscribe, follow me on all my social media stuff, all of that stuff is gonna be in the description below. But let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Have you ever sat there and thought like, man, I spend so much on beer, but then think like, I'm gonna go spend $500 on beer? What, what, who does that, right? Like who, who just sits there and does that? Well, this guy does. This guy does that. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. Rocks really stupid. Let's go ahead and check out what $500 worth of beer gets this guy. All right, let's get the box. Ugh. That's it. $500 fits in this one medium sized box. I mean, in all honesty, it's a decent sized box. But if I were you, I'd probably sit there and think, like, I was expecting more. I'm thinking like $500 in like, you know, 12 packs. Nope. Not hops and brews. Well, this is gonna block my lighting. So let's go ahead and take this down. And there we go, it's messing everything up. Yay, I'm dropping knives, people. Almost took my toe out. I wonder if balancing $500 worth of beer off of a chair is really a thing to do. Anyways, let's get into it. Number one. We have, oh yeah, Anchorage Suffer. This is a triple barrel black barley wine finished with toasted coconut, aged 20 months in a blend of Buffalo Trace, six year rye, Hofsensers, Copper Age Heavy Char, Colmet Farms, 18 year old Knob Creek, and Wild Turkey Bourbon Barrels, 15%. Oh, beer number two is another Anchorage. No answers, Imperial Stout, black barley wine blend with uh, double and triple oaked for 20 months in a blend of 15 year Colmet Farms, Willamette, Willamette Rye, and Buffalo Trace bourbon barrels at 15%. I think we're gonna see a trend here. Ah, we got fresh pressed spatial. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, it's a red currant kiwi with vanilla bean mead, 14%. Another favorite, Anchorage Swartzer, double oaked, double dark ale. Double dark ale is our attempt to brew from scratch. A beer that rides the line. This version was aged for 19 months in a blend of Willamette rye and 15 years, 1792 uh, bourbon barrels brewed in honor of one of the most innovative pioneers and influencers, bladesmiths in our modern era, Steve Schwarzer. Cool. I actually do like bladesmithing, so that's actually pretty cool. Ah, Ghost Prime Prairish. I just had the Holy Ghost and the Holy Balls. That was a great beer. So this, um, um, I'm looking for a trying. Percentage, who knows? We got Bottle Logic, Whew. Cephalo Philosophy, UB, ooh, an Oob, Oob Pastry Stout. If you don't know what Oob is, Oob is a purple root type yam. I did an Oob beer before, check that out. But uh, 2023 released, yes, there we go. 14.9% Oob sweet potato pastry stout. Potato pastry stout. Why did I buy that? I don't know. Revolution Brewing Blasphemit, a Bach beer. Uh, 6.66%. Pretty sure I know what they were going for when they threw that one. Hmm. Next one. Ah, another Anchorage, obviously, right? I love my good Anchorage. 
Uh, really, can arts, awesome. Dual sides, a triple IPA, brewed and double dry hop with Luminosa, Nelson Sauvin, and Strata Hops 10%. Oh, baby. And of course, another Anchorage, save me. Number one, Imperial Stout Black Barley Wine Blend. Horace Triple Oak Imperial Stout, aged 28 months in Ambaran barrels, blended with triple barley wine, aged 24 months, and a mix of Buffalo Trace, 18-year Knob Creek, and 1792 Culminate Farms bourbon barrels. 15%. Ah, River North Double Rice. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a sherry whiskey cask. Single alt malt whiskey, 21.51% stout in whiskey barrels. Yes, I said that right. It's over 21%. Next, we got another Anchorage, Airbnb. A quadruple IPA brewed with Simcoe cryo hops, double dry hot with Nactrin, Matuka, and Nelson Sauvin hops, 11%. All right, we got Hoysher Brewing Company, Fruit Fusion, Swamp Creature, it's pistachio and lime sour. A pistachio and lime sour. Yep. Expect that one in a video soon. Oh, okay. We got your dad's retro fashioned cream sour. So this actually, I'm brewing. I did buy this for a video. So it's a cream sour style beer. Ah, another Anchorage grief. It's a double IPA brewed with and double dry hop with super delic hops and phantasm powder, 8.4%. Man, Anchorage does some of the best can art. I love that my camera is focusing on the beer and not me, but that's fine. That's what I want you to focus on. Three more. We got save me number two. We did number one. This is number two. This is a Imperial Stout Black Barley Wine Blend finished on toasted coconut. That sounds amazing. Uh, Horace Triple Oaked Imperial Stout aged 28 months in Embryo Barrels blended with Triple Oaked Black Barley Wine aged 25 months in a mix of Buffalo Trace, 18 Year Knob Creek, and 1792 Culminate Farms Bourbon Barrels. 15%. <sighs> That's a mouthful. All right, Love Me Midnight by The Brewery. An imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with pineapple, coconut, and vanilla added 18%. Woo, it's a variant of Black Tuesday. It's a basically a pina colada version of Black Tuesday, which I have a very, very old bottle of. And last but not least, we have a Deal with the Devil, a collaboration with Tired Hands Brewing Company and Anchored Brewing Company, 48 months in Jamaican rum barrels. A Deal With The Devil is a barley wine style ale brewed with galaxy hop. So this beer has been aging inside Jamaican rum barrels for four years. That means four years ago it was brewed, then put into Jamaican rum barrels. And I was told that it is freshly wet Jamaican rum barrels. So there's probably going to be a tremendous amount of rum flavor. What is the percentage? I forgot to say. Percentage is 17% and it's batch number one. This is what $500 worth of beer looks like. Yeah, just these. Yeah, just these. 17 beers, $500. I mean, let's be honest, some of them are pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Although, would you spend $500 on stuff like this? Um, I mean, yeah, me, yeah, sure I would. But would you? What else would you spend $500? What of these 
should I review and which one should I just drink and enjoy? What would you like to see a review on? Any of those? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Cheers.